Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael. Morning, team. How are we getting on, mate? Yeah, good. Loading up the uh, rods. Yep. Got a chili bin full of bait and burley. We have, yes. But where are we heading, Scotty? Put the angle, my friend. Oh, yeah. Comp 2023. That's what we're up to. Choco's there somewhere, we Choggy? Hey, mate. Choco's joining us, so we've got the, got the A team. He's a, a man of a million words, old young Choco. 100% guarantee he's going to fall asleep on the boat. Oh, definitely, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for that. Yeah. Migsy bought the yet over this morning from Rotorua and uh, obviously went through some road works. That's all right. We're going to tow this thing all good. And if you don't know what holy ship is, it is the Surtees 8 metre game fisher. Surtees biggest boat in their lineup. Uh, kit it out with pretty much everything you can ask for. We all know Surtees built a fantastic boat. This one was uh, custom built for us. Twin 225 Hondas on the back. Too many extras to list, but it's a quick look at it here anyway. Absolute weapon. On the GFAB trailer too. That's what we'll be fishing, and even if the weather's a bit ugly, we'll uh, be all good on this thing. And the weather is man, so over the hill, and we're pretty much in pity. Is it, is it mid tomorrow, though? That's what I want to know. I'm minting up. Should we have a little look here? Yeah, we'll look. Uh, windy? I just took a cone out. Oh god, Scott. <laughs> Big rig. Uh, so tomorrow, what are we looking? Oh, we've got a little bit of breeze. Yeah. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, sort of around that 10, 8, 10 knots. Supermarket shop done. I'll oh, go back to the boat. Look at this. Someone's tried snitching us up. They won't work, Michael. We'll still catch fish. No siree. Are we overnighting on the boat tonight? Yes. Jogo? Yes. Catch some fish, catch some libies. We're allowed to catch libies tonight? Yep. 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 He makes the rules. Ah. If not, then at least won't show this bit. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our good luck banana, I reckon. Winning fish? Look at it, puts a big smile on your face, mate. There it does. What do you think of this uh, makeshift uh, rod storage too? It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's great. Works an absolute treat. So what do you guys reckon? Oh, yeah, what do you reckon? Do you reckon we're going to be in the prizes? Oh. Mig, Scott, who? We're Choco. Doing a, we're doing a challenge. Choco. <laughs> yeah, Choco. Choco could be in the prizes. Really as long sick. as someone from Holy Ship gets a prize, it'll be cool. If not, as long as we can catch some fish, that's the main thing. Yep. Uh, and what should we target, Michael? That's yeah, why like. that's always the question. It's always the plan for a fishing comp is a big part of it about what you're going to target and how you're going to target it. Because there are multiple species on offer, and if you do try and do them all, you end up chasing your tail and often get yeah. nothing. So snapper and kingies are our primary focus. It's just about which ones we target first and in which order and which methods. Yeah, and then tomorrow we've got pretty nasty looking forecast. So we'll hopefully, m might just be Trevor's. You mean the day after? You mean no, Saturday? Tomorrow, ne ne yeah, Saturday, Saturday, the next day, the second day. <laughs> Horrible forecast. Yeah. So Trevor's maybe? Yeah, Trevor's maybe Trevor's in the harbour, which would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got, Scotty? The goodie bag? Oh, a new t shirt. A new t shirt for every year. This oh, is the 2023 one. Yeah, Check that out. 30 year anniversary on the old sleeve there. Cool, mate. Got to chuck that on if you want to win a prize. We don't really claim prizes. Chuck, you take a prize? I'll take all the prizes. <laughs> okay, you go, Get your t-shirt on, cuz. Uh, yeah, also, well, this, is the, uh, this is obviously what you need. For sure. The measure mat. Measure Got a bit of, uh, someone's got a bit excited. Here we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, sweet. That's oh, okay. well, that's all good. Yeah. It's always worth having a couple of those in the boat. Well, that's what you need to measure your fish, I'm assuming, for yep. this comp. is measure and release and or measure and keep, but no way in. Just straight uh, on the measure mat and then photo only. That's how she works. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's like quite, a, quite a cool bit of value in there. Got some beanies, yeah. some hats, some simple green. Yeah. 
It'll be oh, our angle number some way. So. Lucky ball. I don't oh, know what yeah. that is, but. She's a pretty big rig to launch, but it's actually pretty straightforward. I think we'll just get it there, I'll jump in, then he'll just uh, unhitch it. Go! And then he'll just hit the picks, and the uh, boat will go flying off the back. Briefing, uh, not too bad, Michael. You're briefed. You understand? Uh, yep. Yep, I understand. I'm good. Got your angler's card? Got my angler's card. Got yep. my pack. Know how to measure a fish? All the stuff. Yep, yep. yep. And uh, launch was easy? Yeah, pretty simple. Forgot the GoPro. <laughs> Bloody hopeless. Not normally cameraman though, standard. are we? Just the standard. We're normally GoPro cameraman though. Yeah, we are. But now but we've got to try and make our way to yep. the wherever it is we're going to sleep for the night. That's it. So on the water, nice and early. And uh, briefing done. And yeah, so it just means we can get up in the morning and go for it. So almost out of the five knot zone, then we can hammer down. We can. So yeah, we've got to decide whether we go to a spot, uh, the Mercury Islands and a bay there, which will hopefully be out of the southwest that's kicking up tonight, or we've got to go to another area down the coast of it, depending on what we decide. Yeah. We'll get around the corner and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah. Take a call, I reckon. Sweet, sounds good. To the hammer, north. Hammer down. in our uh, little bay. Not a bad little spot. Chocky's got the burly in the water. Megs has got us tied up to no anchor. Michael, just a mooring, which is yeah. not too bad. The old mates over there said um, we could use their mooring, which was pretty cool. Means they have a bit more of a um, peaceful sleep, eh? Yep, knowing that the anchor's uh, all that mooring's definitely going to hold, so. Absolutely. Good. Plan here is to try and uh, get some bait fish around the boat, get a few liveries if we can, fill the tanks, and then hit the hay. Midnight no, mackerel, it's probably going to be midnight by the time we go to bed, so <laughs> probably Happy pretty names. appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the Mackies haven't been playing ball so far, we've been uh, battling. You go on, Miggy? Oh, well, hang on, we might have one here. No, Kahawai. But yeah, we've been uh, battling trying to get him. We've got a couple of Kahawai, uh, maybe two Jack Max, but it's not that they're everywhere around the boat, they're not playing ball. But uh, yeah, Snapper and Kahawai are ruining it. Party. What a picky snapper. That's too small, Michael. But we got a ball on the go. Where are we? You can see that with the flickery screen, but we're quarter past ten. Gonna have a cup of tea of some description, Chogo. Cup of tea. Or a weak decaf. Decaf, weak decaf, yep, that's fine. Not too much, they're tied out so we don't wet the bed. Don't want to be wet in the bed when you're sharing a boat with the lads, do you? Or you don't want to wet the bed at any stage, I don't think. When you're a fully grown adult. Morena. Morena, Michael. Morena. Good fleet, mate. 
I had a bloody good sleep. Alright. You? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad for the boat. Yeah. Getting our bros in us, uh, make our way around the corner. 15 minutes time, should be 6 a.m. We can start fishing. Pretty well bang on, and uh, lost a few of our liveys last night, so we've got a few Mackies left, but a lot of the good ones are gone. That's but okay. ah, well. That's alright. That's what it is. At least we're fishing now, mate. That's exciting because we're actually, uh, now we're officially going to be fishing properly. Gonna be good. End up. So much bait! So we got to our first spot right as the summer's coming up. Just about 10 past 6 by the time we got here. Started spot a bit of bait on the surface, casting stick baits around trying to target kingies and um, sure enough, a couple of follows, make sure a yellow tail goes, yeah there's kingies there, maybe rats and then there was about four or five big 18 to 23 kilo kings just following the stick bait back and uh, they hit it so followed Migs back and then I was sweeping mine back and then hit it, hit it again, pack attacked it but the <laughs> hooks didn't stick, oh man, so exciting, heart was absolutely pounding, we flicking stickies around since and haven't. What's that, Jock? Okay, so we've got liveys out now. Andre is saying he's just being harassed. So we've got liveys out now, as well as still trying to cast stick baits, but a lot of current and they're sort of pushing us back into these rocks, so we've got to sort of keep maneuvering the boat back out again, but there's stacks of bait around. Mostly Kahawai and Trevally, um, but the Kingies were definitely here. Got a good look at them. Oh, he's hoping we can actually convert one of these uh, stick bait casts or one of these liveys into a big king. And then hopefully we'll show you that soon. So I started soft baiting the shallows and the uh, first fish for the shallows. Well second actually, Choco caught a little one. It's in the bin. But yeah, it's a nice one there. Oh Chocky's on. Nah, lost him. But yeah, this is the technique now. I've got a bit of wind coming, we rechecked the weather and there's a decent bit of wind coming, so we're gonna try and make the most of some casting around the shallows while we can. Pull out beautiful fish like that. Look at the colours on it. Getting with the sun there. Beautiful. Oh, he's in the bin. Not a bad start. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Oh no, the Trevally. Uh, three colours. Go two colours, actually, so Andre. What do we got there, Michael? The triple hook special. A whole lot of trilling Trevors. Cast the triple hook at it. Get one for the measurement. Better than nothing, which is what I've got at the moment. Scotty! Hooked up to a beast, Michael. Just after lunch. Absolute beast. Still having my lunch, Michael. There we go. Oh! oh. Real thing. I'll drive us out a little bit. Drive us out a little bit, or yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it moving. Ah! Uh, Even the reef. Real boat. Real boat. Yeah. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Got to the reef. Pulled the hook though, I think. Try to pull the hook. Ah, no! I don't know what that was. Pulled the hook in the end. Look at that. That was a big fish. Uh, damn it! Finally getting somewhere on the snappers. Yo. Still not a monster, but that is a very, very lovely fish. Beautiful. Getting closer to that eight pound mark, that one. So we'll chuck him on the measure mat. It won't, like I say, I don't think he'll be in the leaderboard, but it's nice to finally come up tight and land respectable fish. Livey out the back, Michael. Livey out the back. It's windy, it's choppy. <laughs> it is. It's good conditions for snapper. It is. So we'll uh, hopefully double the size of that too. That'd be nice. Oh, 
Got him out. Go, Scott. Go, get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. No. Ah, another one. Alrighty. Quick little update. The weather has turned pretty atrocious, but we're uh, keeping on at it. We've got a couple of fish on the me measurement so far. A uh, couple of lost fish as well that were absolute stonkers. But uh, yeah, it's actually been a pretty good session on the snapper. But um, yeah, I think it's just uh, at the moment, a quick little brew, and then we might go back to flicking a few softies in the shallows. So uh, see what that produces. All good. getting a bit better. Not as big as the two Mig just lost, which fought three times as hard as this thing did. Still put up a good scrap, but yeah, managed to uh, get this guy in the net. Hooked him in about five metres of water track him back, so that's pretty cool. It's up around the 10 pound mark, that one, so we'll chuck him on the measurement and see where he's at. And uh, get for another drift, I think. The absolute filthy conditions, but he's got to embrace it. We've got the 8 meter, we're all good. Try and show you guys some uh, fishing action if we can, but it's a little bit uh, hard with the, the conditions. So, anyway, this fella's on the bin. You need to get a feed as much as anything, that's a prime eating. Nice. Well, that's us, Mixie, day one, mate. Heading back. Done. Weather was pretty average, but yeah, still plenty of fish around and oh, yeah. lost some absolute beasts. Yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Unfortunately, we uh, lost some potential comp winners, but they're not on the boat, they don't count. So uh, we'll head on back and uh, get prepared for tomorrow, which the weather's looking even worse. Even worse, so we'll yeah. see what tomorrow brings, but right. yeah, we've got a bit of a steam ahead of us, so yeah. on the water. Day one, Surdy's comp done and dusted. See you tomorrow. Day two. Day two. Serious comp. Weather's average, Michael. Weather's average. It's been a late start. Just <laughs> running through a bit of daylight out there at the moment. But uh, we're into it. Yeah. So we've got to poke our nose around the corner and see what it looks like out of the bay a little bit. Um, there's quite a few boats anchored in the harbour today. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just see how we go, Scotty. That's it, mate. We'll uh, not like it. We never know. There might be a trophy fish on the cards, but yeah, we're going to be very limited as to where we can go. There's heaps of boats in the harbour. Look at the doors hanging out here. Yeah. It's pretty ugly out there though. Oh. Let's oh. embrace it. Let's go. The rough stuff. Love it. Ten metres. We're just slow trolling some liveys in the absolute filthy conditions, but uh, there's hopefully some kings here, some good signs. So. Two and a half on day three, mate. All our live baits have been grabbed, and now we're flicking a few lures around the front. Still rough as guts, Scotty's up the front, Scotty's at the back. But uh, and we're almost on the hound trying to hold us over a particular area, but yeah. Ah, cool. Well, we're done and up in the fishing department. No fish today. See boys. But uh, last one's back to the ramp as food. Yeah, pretty much. It was pretty gnarly right home. Oh yeah, it was indeed. But yeah. we're back safe and sound, so we're late for prize giving. Three minutes, so not too bad. Pretty good. We're only about a minute away. We'll make it. Alrighty. Prize giving probably none for us, but uh, Choco's hoping he's in for some spot prizes, eh Chucky? Yeah, he's got his t-shirt in his hand. Yeah, get that Sudi's t-shirt on, mate, or you get no prize. Alright, see so the prize giving.
Where's the bloody GoPro here? 